what can we do about illicit? How can it be um, how can it be combated? Um, there are big problems. Higher prices uh, reduce smoking, but it's argued by many that it, they, they only reduce duty paid smoking, and that when prices go up, uh, illicit goes up too. There are organisations like uh, OLAF, that's the um, European uh, anti smuggling organisation. There are many governmental and non governmental organisations. Um, the, the US uh, passed the uh, Trafficking of All Cigarettes Act uh, last year. Um, that was to regulate against internet and phone sellers of cigarettes. So th there, are, there, are, there is legislation going on uh, to try and combat uh, smuggling. The plain pack legislation, which is uh, likely to appear in Australia, uh, BAT say, and possibly rightly, that uh, having packs that all look the same creates a nice blueprint for counterfeiters of, uh, of cigarettes. The companies would not deny that uh, they have actually benefited from illicit trade um, in the sense that their major brands have found their way into markets where they were not allowed um, by means of smuggling and, cre and created uh, markets for them which uh, when regulations, laws have been lightened to actually let them in, uh, gave them a, a head start. It's been suggested that for that reason um, the companies have, have turned a blind eye to illicit trade. The companies uh, strenuously deny this on the grounds that uh, they say that illicit trade damages their pricing structures in any market and also of course and particularly when they're counterfeited damages the integrity of their brands. Um, so the companies are, are actually doing a lot against uh, illicit trade. For example, PMUSA has about 200 lawsuits on the go against illicit, uh, illicit retailers and websites. Um, all the companies have, uh, have codes of practice that they, they implement. Um, for example, Know Your Customer. They, they try and actually see what's happening to the, to the cigarettes that they, that they sell to traders and suppliers. Um, they try to weed out the, uh, the dubious ones, the dodgy ones. Um, there are technologies that are, that are being introduced to track for tracking for, and, uh, and tracing where cigarettes go to. Um, technologies like uh, using barcodes or, or using uh, RFID, that's uh, radio frequency indication devices, um, to, to, to track where they go. Um, Singapore had a, a major success in fighting smuggling, and that was by actually labeling every single cigarette as being duty paid, so that if somebody, if somebody could be seen lighting up anywhere in Singapore, you'd be able to tell whether it was an illicit uh, cigarette or not. Whether it was as successful as they say is difficult to know, because they, they would be basing the success of that, uh, the, the so-called success, on the, um, the number of seizures that they've had. Who knows whether that really reflected the market. And there's another problem, or an advantage, we should say, for illicit, and that is what we call the Robin Hood syndrome. What we mean by it in the context of illicit trade is that there is a perception among consumers of the amount of tax that they pay on a pack of cigarettes. And therefore, if they can buy that pack without the tax, there, in the case of many people, is a tendency to re regard a, a criminal as a benefactor. These people who are selling illicit cigarettes are by no means Robin Hood's merry men. This is organized crime. These are the same people who do drugs trafficking, people trafficking. They're terrorists as well. All of these people have a part in global illicit trade in cigarettes. What's the best hope uh, in fighting illicit trade? Probably it's governments uh, acting decisively in the primary supply markets, um, added to know your customer initiatives and tracking and tracing technologies. However, even with all those 
being implemented unless the perception of the customer changes um, so that each customer who buys or, or is offered an illicit uh, pack views it as receiving stolen property um, rather than as, as some sort of benefaction. Um, unless you get that change in customer attitude, uh, we can only see illicit trade in cigarettes rising.